yeah hello guys this is bhavya uh, i work at bosch as a cyber security engineer and welcome to rust planet so today i'm going to talk about something a concept called zkp which means zero knowledge proofs uh like i don't know whether you guys have felt this or not but uh, let's imagine that uh, you want to access a secure system or like a website or you need to prove your identity to gain an access so typically which involves uh, providing a username and a password in order to access uh, so what if i say that without sharing a password we can just actually access the website or like uh, any system so this is this comes under the picture or a tree of a zero knowledge proof so let me make your mind get into the zero knowledge proof with the zero knowledge on it so uh, yeah i don't have a ppt currently so i just wanted you guys to focus on what i'm telling so the child let me give you a like a example or like a current scenario like let's assume that we have to prove that you are the correct user with the password without actually revealing your password what it is so this comes under a picture of zero knowledge proof where you are not sharing your password but you are telling that you are the right person in order to access it so in order to uh, i'm going to show you a dummy example of this zero knowledge proof uh, about authenticating a user without sharing a password so i'm telling you this on a note that uh, this is just a dummy code or dummy program which helps you to understand the process how this zkp do how the communication goes on so let me go into my code yeah so this is my demo code uh, which is an rough or like slight or like small example of this zero knowledge proofs so here i have a few domains of like you can see on my screen like you can see something called user or like server and then implement struct and then rand so i would like to give you a glimpse about this that in general whatever the code we take uh, it goes run uh, the code during the compile time or like during the running time the execution time of the code the main hub of the code is the main function so whenever we run a code uh the first line it executes is the main function and then the others will be executed according to the order uh, where they were called so now let me dive into my main function so that you will understand the step by step process so this is the main function you can see here uh so here we have created a structure called user you can see something called user which is a structure and also a structure named server so in this user we have a predefined username and password let's say that username is alice and then the password of the alice is password 123 so here i'm using a two string in order to take them as a string uh, so let me go to the structure user because i was just telling about user here so here it is the structure user have something called a username and also a password and now let me go to the next uh, part that is server in the main function uh, where this is also a structure so in this block we generate a random salt for the server you can see here like i defined my structure here which has a salt salt is nothing but it is like a sort of key but not a key uh, like coming to the cryptographic uh, talk and all uh so th this salt is nothing but it is a random a value generated which is like a combination of uh, alphabets along with the numericals so i can say that this salt is different for each and every user uh, according to the uh, client i mean like not like a client it is like uh, it generates randomly every time it's not like same for one user whenever the user tries to come in and log in so i can say it is it is like a randomly generated a uh, value in order to uh, use it for the for further purpose what we are going to do with this salt i'll be telling you later so you can see the salt continues with random thread rng uh, so here it is like the salt we are initializing a random number generator and then the sample iteration uh, where this generates uh, 
random alpha numeric characters i mean like i want characters in this sol to be like some alphabets and also the combination of alphabets and numbers so i'm like here um, generating some random alpha alpha numeric characters so take 16 it says that i want to uh, uh, take some values which i uh, some values uh, i can let's say that some part of this uh, generated value so i want for 16 digits of this sal to be taken and then this map car from this converts each character into a car uh, like each of the character that the salt contains will be converted into the character type car uh, the value and then collect so this color co this collects these characters into a string which becomes the service sol so combination of this collection of values of the first 16 values uh, is the salt where we are going to use it further and so now we have a username and also a password and also a salt now uh, as a inputs like let's assume so I as a user assume that I am the user Alice and someone is the server let's assume my laptop is the server uh, so I need to authenticate um, uh, telling that I am the Alice in order to access some portal let's say that uh, so here I'm not sharing my password originally I'm just showing you my password what the password is as it is a dummy demo example and which is not not at all applicable for the production purpose and it is only for understanding of zkp uh, so here i'm hashing my user password so i'm going to explain you this statement more clear so let response equals to hash user password clone and server salt using server salt i'm cloning my password like um I'm, why i'm using clone is like not to modify the password of the user further so I'm cloning it in order to uh, make it uh, accessible easily. So here we initiate the user authentication process by calling the hash function. We pass the user's password and the server salt. So the result, the result of this combination, ha the hash values output is called response. So here I we got some function called hash. Let me tell you what the hash is. So this is the function hash. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. So here we define, uh, we have defined a separate function called hash. This function takes string uh, as an input, and uh, which is in a string format, and then salt. Uh, it is a service challenge. So the out, and then the output is the string. In this example. We simulate secure hashing such as uh, SHA-256, otherwise you can take RSA or like MD5 or whatever we want. This I took here as a reference like SHA-256 by simply formatting the, so in this example, we take this SHA-256 and then just by simply formatting this input and salt, we get a, we can, we get the output in a string, which is like a, uh, in a specified way like in a mentioned way so the result in the string represents the hash value so in this function uh, the result of the hash is like it is known as the uh, hash value of my password like i mean like whatever the given string uh, so here uh, we understood what the hash function is and also the responses now i am implementing this uh, server structure so here finally we were like authenticating the user so in order to authenticate we were calling the method called server instance passing the user in the response as an inputs so here it is checking whether uh, i'll tell you what this um, string i mean uh, sorry this implementation this method server is being telling so this implement server has a function called authenticate uh, this is the start of the implementation of the server uh, structure inside this block we have defined a method called authenticate so it has two parameters which is user and a response so user refers to the user itself so uh, we mentioned it as a self uh, and then the response like we initially we recently got the hash function output as a response so it is a string so my output type is here is a boolean 
so the method simulates a server challenge by obtaining the server salt and store it in a variable called challenge here you can see that uh, and then here we simulated the user's response to the service challenge we call a function called hash passing in the user's password a clo it is cloned to avoid the changing of the original value i am mentioning it again and the challenge we also call the challenge the result is stored in a variable called expected response right you understand right the hash function's value is here is stored as a expected response i'm sorry and so now uh, we were comparing the result response and the expected response so this part of the authenticate method compares the response received and then the user's expected response if they were equal if they match then the method returns true otherwise false as the return type is a boolean so here we can see that we were calling this so we were sending this server with the username and also the response the hashed message so it will check this it will implement this method and then it will cross check everything if this response and expected response are equal this will be printed if not uh, it will print like authentication is successful and if it is not it will print as a fail so let me run it in order to show you how it is performing so i'm running it i just run it and it said that authentication was successful so it is like a basic understanding of this zkp and i don't say that this is exactly a zkp so uh, i will be doing more uh, more parts and more deeper into this zkp for the videos and then you can get a better clear picture what this zkp is how rust plays a key role like how can we implement zkp in rust so i wanted to tell you some important key points like uh, zkp is a way to prove something i'm just revising i'm just summarizing it it is like a way to prove something without revealing the actual details how we, how we were like sending the hashed message hashed password rather than sending the original password to the client in order to access the portal so passwords is stored securely using a combined hashing and salting right i'm just giving you whatever we have done i'm just briefing you this and then the server challenges you and you respond with a secure hash value as as like the salt was generated and with the salt you had hashed the message uh, password the server uh, in essence zkp helps you to assure secure authentication without exposing sensitive information like your password so this concept is very important and i say it as very crucial in maintaining privacy and security in various online systems okay, uh, so then i'll be covering up part 2 in with uh, more traits using and also with more deeper and good examples uh, with this zkp in this rust so stay tuned to rust planet and don't forget to subscribe